Hello, dear committees. My name is t h r a c h i t s e n g a r u n And my name is Prajap p a n j a s e n In this video, we would like to take this opportunity to talk to you about our invention, that is knee pads for elderly, for natural rubber combining with bucket fiber and purple leaf fiber. Currently, many countries have already become a t society, including Thailand. In other words, elderly are likely to increase further. Furthermore, falling is one of the causes of death in the elderly. In 2012, worldwide, an average of 1,160 people per day die from falling. Uh, such problems can be dealt by using knee pads to protect them. Knee pads from natural rubber has good mechanical properties. Shock absorbing rubber material has been passing the standard of mechanical properties. So we are interested in development of knee pads for the least from natural rubber combining with bucket fiber and pipe leaf fiber to use the properties of natural fibers to increase the efficiency of the rubber sheet better. For our methodology, firstly, we will begin with rubber sheet molding process by mixing rubber and chemicals with t u l o m i l and using compression molding machine to compress a rubber sheet along with studying its physical properties. So we found that the rubber sheet has has none of f l e s s with a proper size. There is no t e a r mask and bubbles, along with appropriate v a n k a n i of the compound. Then we study about the morphology of bucket fiber and p y r o p o l e a f fiber under scanning electron microscope. The result revealed that bucket fiber and has a bigger size than the p y r o p o l e a f fiber. It has flat shape. And low surface, while p y r o l e a f fibers had a unique feature because it has a lot of small fibers staying together. After the study of the morphology of the fibers, we try to add this fiber in the molding process by adding 10 phr of each fiber during the mastication and compressing the compound into a sheet to observe their physical properties. And in this process, we will get the rubber sheet with 10 phr of bagasse fiber. That we will call it as BG10, and the rubber sheet with 10 phr of pipe leaf fiber or PA10, and the results shows that the sheets have none of flaws, and these are harder than the control formula, which is the natural rubber sheet. Moreover, we will use these three formulas to test for the curing time to look for the differences by using moving diameter, and we found out that the control wheel has the highest curing time around 4.5 minutes. And the least one is PA10, which has the curing time around 3.4 minutes. And from this process, we also want to know that what will happen if we add the fiber with different proportion in the molding process. So we have added more four formulas, including BT5, BT15, PA5, and PA15. And the result reveal that the curing time varies inversely as the amount of fiber. The more fibers we add, the more curing time decrease. So The formula with the highest curing time is still the control, but the formula which has the least curing time is PA15 at 3.3 minutes. Meanwhile, we have these seven for sorry these seven formulas of the rubber sheet, so we will begin to test their mechanical properties. And the first one that we choose is shore hardness by using the meter shore A based on ASTM D2240. According to these results, we found out that PA15 Has the highest c h a r h a r n e s s around 39.3 c h a r a, and the control has the least c h a r h a r n e s s around 26.3 c h a r a. Why the testing standard requires 29 c h a r a? In other words, we can say that PA15 is the only formula which has passed the standard. And the next property is the tensile strength and elongation at break by using tensile testing machine based on ASTM B412, and the result reveals that the formula. Which has the least tensile strength is BT15, with the tensile strength around 7 megapascal, and PA15 has the least elongation at break around 632.6 percent, while in the testing standards requires just 4 megapascal for tensile strength and 150 percent for elongation at break, respectively. That means every formula 
have passed the standard in tensor testing and elongation at break. And in summary, we can conclude that PF15 is the best formula of all because it is the only one that reached the minimum requirements of our testing standards. And we will use PF15 to develop for a cushioning material incident impact. And this is the end of our presentation. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much.